The Sports Den. Call or text 641-1010. Open up your heart and let that hang out. 8 o'clock on a Monday night. New England puts Stidham in, scores. We got a 13-10 ball game in Kansas City with 13 minutes left. Going to need them to feed Travis Kelsey a little bit here. Um, we'll keep you updated on that. You may get to a couple of the text on Hater Yeah, let's uh, make it fan, fan interactive. I like it. I, I do like have it. one of my own. We can do that later. 874. This is a strong one. You ready for this? It's yeah. a hot take. This is my hate o'clock. Trevor Lawrence is the most overrated quarterback Ooh. in college football history. Ooh, this is a Tom Brady is a system quarterback hot take. He had one great game against Bama when he was a freshman. One? And he's beaten up a couple of dozen tomato cans in the ACC in his career. And he got exposed by the second legitimate defense that he'd seen with LSU in the championship game last year. Slow your roll on sunshine. We don't believe you. You need more people. That's a take. That is a take. Someone who's only watched about two of his games ever. And it was the ones that he just said. Man. Because wow. I can't see how you could watch him play no. and think that. No, no, no. Oh, no. I, I've seen him in person many a times. And no, I, sorry, 874. That can be your hate clock. It's like sometimes it's like I don't want to disrespect people, but like when I hear people with such vitriol for no reason, mm. like I I started to ask questions. Like, did, was there like a a girl situation? <laughs> like, were you did and you Trevor? Have a girlfriend like, that looked like Trevor. That, that's one thing <laughs> that can make you mad Broke every time. Heart? Every time you see her, uh -huh. see every time it's you see trigger. her, him and Ann Coulter, you you get worried. Yeah, right. Maybe he hates Ann Coulter. I'm so sure. Well, okay, yeah. maybe he's a little, yeah, okay. I get that. I get that. Yeah. Now, I can get behind this one because I have a confession. I've got another confession. 382. Hate o'clock is Gus Malzahn compromising his offensive philosophy for a sorry legacy kid. Now, here's my confession. Uh, these are my confessions. I spent Saturday night enjoying belly laughing. Like, you enjoyed uncontrollably yeah. Laughing. You're such a hater. Oh, and I don't even like dislike Bo. I like Bo, but oh my gosh, I could not. Yes, this was me Saturday night. No, that's my favorite part. I don't know what he says, but it just sounds like that was just the funniest thing ever, man. And Gus Malzahn has been completely exposed for the idiot that he is. And what is going on with Kirk Herbstreet? What do you mean? I need somebody in my life that blindly loves me the way Kirk Herbstreet loves Bo Nix. Does he? Oh, I my mute. God. Kirk I had does it on mute. It. Kirk but does I this like every year, though. He finds a person that he falls in love with, love with and he just... Bo Nix throws like six balls in the dirt in a row, and then he throws one yes. ball, one ball that's good. Well, and Kirk's know, like, oh, my not, gosh, not this kid is special. You know all, why? Their offense looks like it's underwater. Do you know oh, why? Dude. Have you ever watched, like, Gone back and watch Kirk play. Oh, oh no, he was he's like, this Kirk is, is my both. kind of guy. Kirk is both like Kirk was really athletic. Like his first play in college, he took it like sixty-five yards to the house. Yeah, Kirk, Kirk did, huh? Yeah, Kirk. Yeah, it's Ohio State. Look up Kirk Herbstreit's like one of his first touchdown or something like that. But he just Kirk hate like Kirk really holds on to his college. Like it'd be like me if I made it big. If you ever heard me talk about Florida, I might tell I'm gonna tell the truth, but you're gonna hear like, all right, we know it's a little snot. What, what the hell is Pat doing? What is Mahomes doing tonight? It's going to be a little bit of a snide to it, but I'll talk the truth. If I talk about Miami, it's going to be some jokes. But, like, Kirk hates Florida State because he vividly remembers when Florida State whipped his ass. Like, he got, like, a, almost a record put on him with sacks. Like, he was getting beat up. So, like, that's, you know, but Kirk's a good analyst. He just finds a guy that he really falls in love with, love with and it just gets weird. 72-yard touchdown run, by the way, against Minnesota. Yeah, so I was right, right? Yeah. Dude, Gus yeah. He's got wheels. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm sorry. We should give to some of the people that probably don't know the inner workings of the show and you and everything. You should probably give what you know, I can't stand why. Why. Well, I think there's more to it than that. The, the reason why is because I think he's a liar. I think like I think he's a horrible football coach. Okay. It has very little to do with the Joey Gatewood. Well, the oh, lying okay. part has a lot to do with the Joey Gatewood situation. But when I've when I've watched Auburn for the past five years. And you see every single year they have, like, a top 10 class. Mm -hmm. And every single year they play Alabama well enough for him to keep his job. 
but it's like, what are you even doing? What What's this offense you run? And what is this lack of a passing game that you run? Get into this century. Like, every now and then he'll have this gimmick that people will, will copy, and it's usually in the run game. Mm -hmm. In the passing game, bro, he's still in black and white, like, TV times. He's reading magazines. He is. It's, it's unbelievable that this guy has an SEC job where he's making $6 million a year. I don't get it. Every time you think he's about to get fired, he's not going to be. They do he beats just out good it. enough. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sorry. That was a great hate o'clock by, by, by the texture. I had to pile on. What's and, else? Hate and by the way, right after you said that about Mahomes, he just scrambled for like a 15 yard first down. Well, bump his scramble. I need to orange to Kelsey. Oh, yeah. Mine is James. My hate o'clock. Oh, man. Oh. What did I do? Because James didn't, and I don't know if Denny knows this either. James hasn't told us about. Mike Norvell's winning tradition, what he does after oh, games. Oh, God. Yeah. I don't know about this. Dude, it's it, embarrassing. Is it, is it Motivation Monday? Oh, it's God. worse. It's, it's... So he has a rock. Okay. And he puts, like, the logo of the team they're playing on the rock or whatever. And after the game, they smash the rock. No, they don't. It's something so, like the uh, homecoming. They like had the homecoming a Jacksonville State match? rock. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. They do. They did. And James didn't tell us about it. I, I thought this was known. They put that out. I, I didn't I don't like it. I know you don't. I don't like it. It's a sled they take a How sledgehammer. Could you? The MVP takes a sledgehammer and who was like, the MVP? Yesterday? Jordan Travis. So you're you're knowing how 2020 goes. He's gonna get hurt. Yeah. You well, get it hurt. happened here. It happened here with a punter named Chris Hansen. Yeah, with an axe. With an axe. He gashed his leg <laughs> open. Is that Del Rio? Yes, yeah, so that was Del Rio when they were talking about chopping wood. They had an <laughs> axe and wood in the locker room. Was that Miko Hardman? Yes. Miko Hardman just scored a touchdown. That does absolutely nothing for either one of us. No. That's my hate o'clock. Right there. So, so okay, so they, they did it for Jacksonville State. But uh, now here's my question. It's though, not about... just Jacksonville State. They would have done it for anybody. But here's my question, they though. They don't crack the rock for the teams they lose. Oh, oh but do they buy know. the rock for the teams they, they lose? They've got no, they already was have there a all Miami of them. There. There they're a all Miami there rock. already. So there's a Georgia Tech there's rock. There's a Georgia Tech and the Miami Rock that went not, uncrushed. That, it is not really How a can rock. I get that Miami rock? It's not really <laughs> it's not really a rock. What it is, it's like a piece of like almost like like what they just did with the floors here. Okay. It's like a sheet. Like granite. Like granite. So it's like a sticker just, on a rock. Is yeah, that what it yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. So they just bought like a, a, a sticker put it on the rock. But they're all already there for the season. They're all lined up. If you can get me Miami's rock from this year, I I I'll be your best friend. Dude, I, I mean, don't think oh, I missed a kick. I, I I can't get that. I don't want get it. that rock for me, bro. God, it's I would love just, to have that. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I, I didn't I didn't like it. Um that's one of the I don't really they're only get, how many rocks like are they going to be able to crush? Like when you have tradition, mm -hmm. like your thing. your university has tradition. Yeah, you don't need to. I don't like when you kind of try to bring you on that. stuff it. like that. I'm like, with you on that. that. Like if you're going to a new program, okay, yeah. one cool, but what, yeah. What I don't really, and I don't like them bringing back some of the old traditions that that winners did. Like like I told, I was I was hyped Georgia Tech when they did that walk, mm -hmm. and then I'm like, don't ever do that walk. <laughs> you don't deserve to do the walk. My hate o'clock is this though is in the in well, the you theme could bring of that. Or you could bring back the book bag. No, that's a trick. That's what that, and that was trying to like Jimbo thought about the same flag. year. The same year that you guys brought out the turnover check. Yeah. Jimbo thought about the turnover spear. He just but then he said, "Nah, that's corny. I don't want to do that." And I, I I kind of agree, but I like Miami's. Miami's is growing. We were the on original. Yeah, Miami, I, I didn't even like it ever. They're first. not. They're the ones that made it popular. Like people have had, like Minnesota always has always had the lunch pail. No, Virginia so, Tech had the last pit. Yeah. The Virginia Tech. So teams have had this stuff but like that. I don't like it because that we you know we don't we haven't had that before. We don't need it. Mm -hmm. Um, there are some things that I think he wants to do eventually, like legacy wall, bringing a lot of the former players to get more involved. But you know, COVID stopped a lot of that. My, but one of the most iconic things that Florida State does have, and it's something to look forward to as a player, whether you suck or you don't, mm -hmm. is the Tom Ox sticker. Oh, I okay. thought you were going to say the girls. Yeah, well, the so, girls are always there. Yeah. But that's the problem with Florida State is that the girls are there. Oh, that's the problem. They don't deserve them. <laughs> I said this. this it's a it's a um it's a Greek play called Lysistrata. If you've never seen it, go see it live. It's really good. But go Google what Lysistrata is. Basically, the women of of Athens and Sparta were tired of the the men going and fighting each other. So what they did was they held out. Oh, you think that Florida world. State women need to do that? They need to hold out. I guarantee you. Wins. I guarantee they'll you. They'll be wins. crushing more rocks. Yeah. They'll be crushing a lot more rocks. So they'll be very strong. 
<laughs> but like the women need to come up to him and, and dude comes up, hey, I'm um, what's this guy's name? I'm Lawrence to a to, to a folly or something like that. Running back, like, running back. Do you, you play State. basketball? You play running back at Florida State. Never what's, what's running back? We have a football. I play team? football. Yeah. Oh, We're a basketball. Sport. I don't talk to losers and then just walk away. Like, come talk to me when you win. Do you know when, anybody on the yeah. basketball team? Yeah. Come talk to me when you win a game against an FBS school. Point me in the direction <laughs> of the seven five dark skinned dude. The seven <laughs> the, the seven five African on the basketball team because they're our national champions, our COVID national champions. Bro. You know, stuff like that. But the tomahawk sticker is something that you you already know. Like, so if I score a touchdown, we lose a game. I still have something yeah. of intrinsic value because it looks cool. Right. They he's kept them all ball, which I'm not mad at that. But now he's trying to introduce them after you got a win. So now it looks like it's fabricated. Like you don't just hold them off because that do what you need to do your tradition, whether you whether you have like it or not. That, James, they they think you shouldn't bring it up because because this I kind of like though not giving them out. Like if you want to accrue them, that's cool. But I like you can like lose your time. You can you can lose your tomahawks. You could have gave them all tomahawks from Miami. Pick, Pick six. six. Yeah. Um, which I didn't need that. Matthew, Tyron. That's his Honey second one. Did you um or did what happened with like Tamara and Terry? Like, did those guys start? Terry played. I don't remember if he started, but he played a lot. Okay. But like I was saying, that um, Dante Lucas system, and Maurice Smith, um, they didn't. They didn't um play because they Lucas they was perfect. the one who wanted to fight the entire Miami squad. Bro, yeah. five, six, three. On the text line, this is great. He says, what are they going to do with the leftover rocks for the year? Norvell going to be fired with a box full of rocks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> think they give us yeah. a box? Listen, Mike. Give them a, bo- give them a box of rocks. <laughs> I need you to come in. We need to see you. I want you to bring your keys and the box of rocks. But see, the, the thing is, what, what sucks. <laughs> he said if Kick, Kick Rocks yeah. was a person. What sucks in today's society is that it's so electronic that the key doesn't even matter. Like, yeah, what happens knows. is it's like what happened with Jamal Adams. Yeah. You go up and you 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 type in your you type in your um your code. It doesn't work. And it doesn't work. And the code is like, oh never mind, go go. Well, actually, I don't we have got a new no code more. today here. By the way, I was afraid one of you guys got canned. It could. It, it, well, yeah, I was yeah, very I was happy it didn't happen. Yeah. I was like, what they say yesterday about the Jags? <laughs> uh, this right. is not Gardner Minshew's fault. He's a Jag. I, I, I'm not a Jags homer, but it's never the Jags' fault. It's never the ownership. I don't think it's Gardner's fault. It's not Gardner's fault. Huh. Yeah, they that's stink. what you guys sound like. This right. is not Gardner Minshew's fault. They stink. That's who's that's whose fault it is. It's everybody. It's the but it's Shad Khan's fault. I'm not really angry. I'm can, like, can I can I I had a good day. Would well, you want to talk about it when we come back? I mean Yes, please. We got that break sure. Yeah, yeah, because we're way behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about James Good Day. All right. When we come back. In your car or out of your car. 